session. And once again, yes, thank you for, for joining us for Kaltura. Um, we have three, three basic action items we want to cover with you today, and then we'll free up some time on your calendar. Um, basically, the first, the, the first thing we want to show you is how to download and install Kaltura on your machine. Uh, the second thing we want to show you is how to create a capture and save and upload it. And then finally, the last thing we want to show you is how to deploy the video anywhere in your course site. So let's get started. So first, log into Blackboard. And once you've logged into Blackboard, you're here on the institution page. To install Kaltura, come down to Tools and come over to My Media. The LTI tool will launch. And in order to install Kaltura, just simply come up here to this blue button. You'll see it says Add New. Hit the drop down menu and come down to Kaltura Capture. Once you click there, you have the option to download Kaltura for Windows or download it for Mac. Pick your appropriate op operating system and click that link. You're prompted to open this .msi file, so hit save file. And we'll wait for it to download here. And then once it's downloaded, click on open file and OK. And you're basically just going to hit next and next for the installation. It's a very quick install. Now, Kaltura, Kaltura Capture is already installed on this machine, um, so it's going to go ahead and start for me. But for you other users, the installation process will just say next, just say next, next, and then you'll follow these steps to it again. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this for the moment. You can install Kaltura on any machine without having IT come to assist you. This also means you can install Kaltura on a machine at home if you wish to create captures there or in your faculty office or wherever you may be. <clears throat> so once that's occurred, I go ahead and minimize this. Let's follow these steps once again in order to launch Kaltura. So like we just did, tools, my media, And we're following the same process we did to install it. Come up to Add New in the top right. Click the drop down and select Kaltura Capture. Now this time, since you already have Kaltura installed, it'll pop right up like mine is here. So whenever you're starting up, you can choose your audio source by clicking the drop down here. I have a few different things plugged in right now. I'm on my USB headset, so I'm just going to leave it that way for the sake of uh, our presentation here. You can choose to share your screen. I have two screens, and most people do have two screens, so you would choose which screen that you want to share. And the camera is here, and you can choose which camera you want to share here. And mine's waking up here. He's a little crooked. OK. So once you're all set there and you've made your decisions to start your capture, just come over here to the big red Start Recording button. And you click it, and you'll see that it counts down 3, 2, 1. And in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see the indicator will let you know that your recording has begun. So right now, we're recording my video and my desktop. So I could be navigating somebody through a website. Um, I could be creating a video tutorial. I could be doing a lecture with a PowerPoint. Everything that I, that's on my camera 
and everything that's on my desktop is currently being captured by Kaltura. Now, if you'd like to, you can annotate using this tool here, the little pencil. It pops up a menu here, and you can choose to use, you can draw on screen if you wish, if we wanted to say we're talking about our goals today. Sorry, that's so sloppy, I have a trackball, so. <laughs> um, you can put text there. You can outline an area with the arrow. You can select a portion of the screen, and then the cursor, you can make a custom cursor. You can also share a whiteboard. So if you were to be doing some, um, say, some um, mathematics or something like that, some advanced math or fractions or figures or something, you could, there's your whiteboard. And if you want to clear everything off the screen, this is the little trash can. It clears it off for you. If you need to use the restroom or phone rings or a dog barks or the baby cries, you can pause your recording like this. And it stops on the same, it starts back on the same frame you stopped on. So if you happen to be looking right at the camera and you pause, you get hit resume when you come back and it doesn't even look like there's been an edit sometimes. So that's something that I really enjoy when I'm creating tutorials and things like that. So click the red button to resume again and you can see with the indicator that you're now progressing again. When you're ready to be done, come over and hit the square to stop recording. And it'll prompt you, are you sure? Just click yes, stop it. You'll be told the recording has been completed and saved successfully. Here's where you'll title your recording. So we'll just call this one a test. Get rid of all that other mumbo jumbo. And description, put your description in. In the tags area, this is where you put your metadata for it to be searched. Um, internally, basically, this doesn't really apply to the end user. It's more of an admin administrative tool. But we do work towards comp uh, compliance here with accessibility here at the college. So we would ask that you put this, this tag in. It's caption ASR, all one word, all lowercase, caption ASR. And what that does for you is it allows Kaltura to automatically caption your video. So if you do have happen to have a, a student that's deaf or hard of hearing, you'll have some captions available to that student if you're presented video in that course site. Once you're ready, hit save and upload. And you can see here that it begins to upload to our cloud server. And this should only take just a few seconds. Depending on the length of your capture, it doesn't really take that long. And your network connectivity, it doesn't take that long. This is about average for a two minute capture. <clears throat> We're almost there. I hope everybody's having a great day. Okay, we're at 100% now. So you'll see prompted up here on the right, your recording successfully uploaded to your media. So now, step two. I'm now step three. We just did step two. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, so let's go back into Blackboard. And let me show you how to deploy that capture in your course site. And you've got two options that are relatively the same, but one's a little quicker than the other. So let's go into a course site. And we'll go into my course site where I goof everything up. All right, it's okay for me to make a mess in here. And let's go to a content area. And all you do to deploy your video that you just did is come up to build content and under the mashups tool, select Kaltura Media. The page will refresh some slowly depending on our network at the time. And you can see here that we have the test that we just created. In order to deploy it in the content area, simply hit select. And then when it's finished processing, just click on embed. And we're just gonna call that tool tips days. Thing here, and then you can permit 
make sure it's available. You can also choose to di display it only for a certain time. If you want this video to only be seen until the end of March, you would just say, oh, we can go from today until, hello, hello, until the end of March. When you're all set, click on submit. And just like in the other content item that you add, it shows up right there in your content area. That's as simple as it is to, to, to deploy it. There's another method you could use to deploy it if you wish. You could hover over build content and go to item. We'll give it a name. And then here in the text editor, find the mashups bar, click on it, and go down to Kaltura Media here. It opens in a new window, but sort of just like we did a moment ago, we'll find the one we pick. Let's try a different one we want to pick. We'll select this one this time. And as we did before, once we're ready, we'll just click on Embed. And I don't know why I'm getting an error there, but you would embed it the same way there. I'm going to look into why that gave us an error there, but it should give you the same result as it gave you here. But we will make sure of that. We also have a handout that we have created for you on how to install, download and install, how to create and how to deploy. And I would like to share that with you. At this time, if anybody has any questions, we're open to take them. And we'd like to thank you again for being here today. Justin, I put the link to the document on the um, chat board already. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, I just I just got a chance and looked over there. All right. I'm going to take a look and see. Yes, Jennifer has added the uh, directions here. There's a link in the chat. So if you need, uh, if you want some some hands-on tutorials that also have screenshots added and things like that, follow that link. If you'd like that via email, um, just send us an email to bb support all lowercase at tulsacc.edu. I'm putting that in the chat here. You can send us an email there anytime for anything Blackboard related. And if there are no further questions, this concludes our presentation on installing, using, and deploying Kaltura. And we want to thank you once again for coming. We'll stick around a little bit. I'm going to stop the recording. I'll wait for a little bit to see if anyone has any questions, though. Thanks, everyone.